What's up, what's up my people? Today is another Mini Cooper video. Today we're giving it some air. Bam. Let's do it. Alright, so as I just showed you guys, we're doing a cold air intake install today. And this is a budget friendly one because a cold air intake like this I want to say it's a forge style but anyways the air intake like this is I've seen them run anywhere from like 150 all the way up to like four or five hundred um, so I said you know what let me try to get one on a budget so what I did is I got a 10 inch um, cone filter dry so it's not a oiled one or anything from DNA motoring um, got a forge knockoff silicone pipe I'm not sure what the exact name for that is and it has a little adapter you guys will see when I install that I had to buy a few couplers and then I need to still go buy a 90 degree angle thingamabob you guys will see what I'm talking about when I install it so prices for the filter I paid 18 bucks shipped it was off eBay but you can get it from them if you want whatever if you want a smaller one anyways 18 bucks for that for that I got it straight from the manufacturer from China you know where everything in the US is pretty much coming from anyways this is the exact same pipe as the forge which I think I've seen online man I can't I can't remember the exact price but maybe I'll put a picture or a link or something a snapchat or a snapshot um, here in the video for you guys to see but it's very expensive I paid 50 bucks for this and this so these two the only downside to that was it took like two weeks two two and a half weeks to get but whatever you know it is what it is so 50 bucks for that 18 bucks for that so it's like 68 bucks now um, these couplers I had I had a few I had to buy uh, these ones right here I think I had to buy two of these and two of these that right there was like seven bucks from uh, my local auto parts store this one I had I don't even think I'll need this one but whatever and I have a bunch more so so let's say six bucks so we are now at 75 bucks or so give or take I still got to buy the 90 degree angle I think I've seen those for around 20 bucks so all in all we'll say under 100 bucks for a cold air intake and uh, you know like I said the cheapest one I think I've seen was like 180 so save yourself 80 bucks you know spend some of your time putting it all together putting the kit together and uh, save some money have some fun and the inside of this is actually really good uh, one second turn my light on but yeah it's nice and smooth in there see if I can get it to it's not like not rough and that's the point of these you want smooth airflow to get more power so before we start doing that I think I need to go try and do some before footage of sound and see if I feel anything obviously I don't I won't feel anything on this this intake will without a tune maybe get you like two horsepower which is not you're not gonna feel it even on a butt dyno but it's the first step toward power mods and I already I do have a diverter valve already installed in there um, so yeah before getting a tune on this car all these power mods and I do have more that I'll be ordering and doing and you know exhaust downpipe and all that injectors and I mean not injectors but coil packs and whatever else I can get uh, charge pipes and a cooler anyways so you know well, my plan is to do all the bolt-on parts have it all ready make sure the car drives well does all that good uh, the math sensor on these cars can calculate itself so you don't really need a tune to be able to drive it everything will be perfectly fine so we'll do that you know get all these bolt-ons this will be in the next couple months as no it's not gonna all happen overnight but one thing at a time so we'll do that and then uh, and then at the end we'll get a tune tunes are not cheap for these that's one thing that I found out um, they range from about 500 to a thousand so I'm not really sure what we're gonna do about that you know we'll we'll figure that out when we get to it so for now, let's go get some footage of uh, before, see how the car sounds. Okay, so sorry if some of the footage is gonna be shaky from the driving video because I have my camera zip tied to a stool that is then seat belted to my seat. So we're gonna do some pulls and hopefully that picks up the sound well. Let's, uh, let's see what we can get. All right, this is a zero. I'm not moving. Pull, we'll do it to, to like 60 or something. Here we go. Windows closed. Another pull, zero to 60, with the window just cracked open. Here we go. 
Here we go. Okay, so car is going to be cooling off for a little bit. But I did go to the store, picked up a 90 degree angle. This was 15. And then I needed this. This is a rubber coupler. This You'll need this for like the math and that. You guys will see when I install it. That was 8 and like 12 cents or something. So all together here for that, 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 everything here with couplers and this and that and the intake, everything. It's like literally exactly 100 bucks. So $100 cold air intake. I'll let the, I'll let the, uh, car cool off a little bit and then we're going to start doing the install hope you guys enjoy this one All right, so I removed it. You use a flathead to get this coupler off. You unplug this, unplug the math, unplug this, and then over here there's a four or five T25, uh, these things. Get that off, it's off. So we'll need to take the sensor off of here. We'll split this apart here and here. Pull it all pulls apart, take the sensor off. You already saw me take the math sensor out. And then all I gotta do now is pretty much put it together, it'll be, something like you know this will kind of go here this will kind of go here and then you got the maps in here and then the angle and yeah and then this sensor instead of being here now it gets moved up here you guys will see what I'm talking about and then this will plug in over that it's pretty simple very simple install so uh, let's get to work and just like that we're done Sorry, I did not have any of this on video. It took some finagling obviously to get stuff to fit But this one here coupler there the sensor that was here like I was saying got moved up here between these two pipes and Everything plugs in well, so this comes up here. This still fits over it perfectly fine Math goes here. Then you got a 90 into the intake um, It's zip tied for now. It's not going anywhere. It's pretty firm on there. It's not tapping on anything either Well, if, you know if you go hard it will but anyways I will be making a bracket well what I want to do actually is because on minis for those that don't know cold air gets sucked in through here goes through this goes through this pipe and it goes through here under there and blows cold air right here so everything's here so what I want to do because this usually sits this usually sits under there it sucks up the air through here and it kind of keeps this area cold well this doesn't fit with this so I have to I'm either going to modify this maybe take a chunk out or something or buy another one and do it so I don't mess with the original one or I can maybe make some sort of a tub that kind of connects there and just sits right here to where it sucks up all the cold air and I will be doing that soon I'm not going to leave it like this for a long time because it does suck in hot air which is not good for a turbo car but we are done it is really cool I like how it looks I like the red I did that on purpose because I wanted to add some color under here um, I also did order a oil catch can which is gonna be sitting here so therefore when I do that I will definitely be making a bracket and moving this over a little bit just redesigning it a little bit but for a hundred bucks man you can't go wrong it actually I like how it frees up that area as well it's pretty cool so much stuff around this engine but there you guys go for a hundred bucks cold air intake just got to piece it together and then put it together it's not that hard it's easy it's simple so now I'm just gonna go try to do some after test drives see if uh, the sound is any louder I mean it, like I said no horsepower is gonna be felt at all um, but I think I might be able to hear the turbo spool because like I said I do have the diverter valve in there I think that's what it's called I'm not sure 
it, it makes a sound obviously when, when the turbo um, when you let off throttle but anyways um, so that's that and then this will kind of I feel like this will help a little bit maybe spool a little quicker um, sound wise it, it should help as well but other than that I, like I said no horsepower will be felt until this car gets tuned but I feel good about this I like it I'm happy with it especially for the price I mean I know some of you guys might not like might not like it how it looks or something I could also actually buy an extended pipe right here and move this intake all the way here actually that might be a better idea yeah I might do that actually buy maybe like a five six inch pipe put it right here and get a couple of cup a couplers on each side and move the intake right here and then that tub will actually it might even fit in that tub a little better so there you go yeah so I can make that fit a little better from maybe spend another 10 bucks or so on another pipe and couplers but not bad at all guys hope you guys like this video but let's get some uh, let's get some after drives see what she sounds like all right so before we do a, a after drive uh, with the cold air intake I figured I'm gonna I came to the same spot that I was parked at before I got the car tinted if you saw that episode if you didn't check it out I'm um, gonna do a walk around of the car also so that's before I end of this video I'm gonna throw it in there just for you guys can see the after effect of the tint um, I'm in the same parking lot it's not as sunny as it was that day obviously it's I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's kind of cloudy and cold. It's winter time. Well, it's winter-ish, I guess, the beginning of winter. But anyway, so I'm going to do a little walk around so that way you guys can see how the tent looks now. And uh, if you guys like it, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. All right, let's do that. Okay, so car is warm now. Um, we're gonna do some pulls. I'll stop right now. I got my camera <laughs> rolling next to me over here. Uh, I'm gonna do again zero to 60 pulls. See if it sounds any different, see if it feels any different. We'll go from there. Cool. All right, so windows closed, zero to 60. Let's go. definitely sounds a little louder I feel like I don't know if you guys can hear that on camera but I can just the whole the turbo whining sound is a little louder um, the blow off valve goes off a little louder um, throttle response is a little better I don't know about faster like I was saying I don't think this is gonna get any horsepower but let's do another one so I'm gonna crack the window just a little bit All right, here we go. Zero to 60. All right, so boom, on that note, we end this video. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I like it all, you know, it's really nice. I am, I decided that I will actually get a little bit longer pipe over here and I'm gonna move the filter it's gonna be more over here so that way I can use the factory tub underneath second more hole there um, yeah so I'll do that and then that's gonna you know give it I don't know it's gonna move it a little bit over there so it's not gonna be like all in this corner so when I put my catch can right there it's gonna be a little better more open space I do like it a lot and I mean for a hundred bucks I'm happy with it because I was not willing to spend 180 to 200 bucks especially for it to be pretty much useless until the tune happens so yeah there it is guys so i hope you guys enjoyed that like i said throttle response feels a little better um you can kind of hear the turbo spool i don't know if my camera caught it you know all that sound but it does sound a little better i actually like it a lot more um so the throttle responds a little better um it, i guess it sucks in more cold air i'm not sure you know like i was saying the mini's build tour has that pipe that comes in from up here to the back so you know you kind of hope it works from the factory right but anyway so let me turn this off so 
felt. Hope you guys liked that video. If you did, consider subscribing. I really do want to reach at least 300 before the end of the year. That would be awesome. Um, if you guys haven't checked my Instagram page out, go ahead and follow me on there. I'll have the links uh, all below, and then I'll put it up on the screen right here. So uh, I thank you guys for all your support. Thumbs up, comments, anything. Thank you guys, and see you on the next one.